The first thing that's ever mentioned when Overlord is brought up in a conversation is this sequence of events right here with the CGI. And if not this sequence, it's this sequence with the goblins and just how bad it looks. And no kidding, it does. It does look really bad. I don't think anyone can really deny that. But then you have sequences like this within the anime, and this is from season 4 for clarification, and people do talk about it, but nowhere near the same extent as just like the previous seasons. But at the same time, fans that have watched Overlord, despite its many flaws of animation, which is clearly on display here, it is still a very popular show. And if that is not telling enough for just how incredible Overlord really is, then I don't know what else really can. Because it's not often where you see an anime overcome so many setbacks, so many things that try to push it into the mud to where it could never recover. But somehow, Overlord fights, struggles, and works its way back up out of the dirt just to be able to display a really good story and character writing. And I think that is a very powerful thing to really take away from Overlord, because think about this, okay? Nowadays, we're spoiled by scenes like this. We get constant animation sequences that just blow our mind with just how beautiful it looks. Like, nobody's going to deny how good One Piece has looked in these latest episodes, and like how Jujutsu Kaisen has looked, or just how Chainsaw Man looked. There's a lot of good examples over the years of just great art and animation and what often or not if something doesn't look let's say on par or as good as this usually it's seen as inferior or it's seen as something that is so not worth watching that it's just not even talked about and most of the time people will be completely interested in something that looks very pretty or beautiful but once again, Overlord overcomes this, because despite obviously these issues, I see a lot of conversation and a lot of people that continuously talk about this story, such as myself. And it's just, it's incredible with how flawed of an anime it is. It can still have such a great fan base that really backs it up and supports it to such a high degree. Hell, we waited years for season 4 to air. Like, we waited so long for this season to come out when season 4 was released. It was just shocking. And the fact that the same studio, Studio Madhouse, was working on it after all those years was even a cherry on top. And it's insane to think. Just that, um, you know, despite the years of waiting and all that, and usually a fan base would kind of die down or the hype would die down for something, Overlord came back in swinging very strong, and it really was popular when it was airing at the time, when Season 4 was coming out. And obviously, at this point in time, we're currently waiting for the continuation for, like, a Season 5, and we're waiting for the movie release that's going to be taking place in the Holy Kingdom arc. But while we wait for that, though, it's just crazy to think that this series has had continuous pitfalls in its wake but despite that the story stands out the story is so excellent and I think that is just it really speaks for the quality of the writing that somehow despite cutting content out not giving full character explanations and character background and story like literally cutting out massive details from the novel for the anime even then, the anime is extremely good, and hell, a lot of people that don't even like fantasy stories, like a Sekai or fantasy stories, love Overlord. And it could be a variety of things that really drive it. It could be because, obviously, Ainz is an overlord. He's an evil guy, and, you know, he's not necessarily good. And the very perspective of the story follows villains and bad people, and that could be one of the big driving forces. Definitely, I agree. But I don't think someone that sits down and watches the anime could probably watch watch all of these seasons and like watch season three in particular and be like, you know what? I want to continue watching. Let's go watch season four unless it wasn't a good story. And I just, I don't know, th this type of stuff really keeps me up, and like, the latest season, I was like re-watching some scenes of like, the latest season, and this scene in particular came up, and I it's really crazy to me just how like, the main villain won, like the true villain of the story here, actually won and got everything she wanted with no negatives whatsoever, and literally has like her servant 
pretty much her dog for the rest of eternity. And it, it's just really messed up. And she even goes into, like, a song and starts dancing. It's a very extra scene that she does, and it, this was not in the light novel. And the animators at Madhouse really wanted to go hard on this to really just kind of nail in that she really is evil. Like, this is an evil character that she really puts, in some degree, eyes to shame and just how evil she can be because she threw her entire kingdom under the bus literally to die just to achieve her selfish goal of just having her servant boy pretty much like I said as a dog that's it and it's just like wow that is messed up that is legitimately messed up but uh I don't know man like I know Overlord has its problems as an anime but it's incredible to me just like how despite this it always overcomes it it reminds me a lot of this scene actually with like brain like if you watch this scene it, it's like you have this overwhelming force, like Kyokutis within this scene is kind of like the uh, the bad CGI, the the absolute abomination of just how bad Overlord can actually look. But then you have like you know the the actual story standing up and is like, nah, I'm not going down. I want to buff myself to the absolute extreme to be able to fight back and be able to build up a community for this series. That's kind of how I see this scene, honestly, just looking at it. Like, you can kind of use it as a, a, a theme of that. But, uh, anyways, I don't know. I just, I've had Overlord in my mind. I'm patiently awaiting for the movie announcement. Like, we know the movie's coming. We just don't know when it's going to be coming out. But, um, I am excited for it, and I don't know, man, I, it's crazy to think that probably very soon, in like a year or two from now, Overlord is going to be complete as well, because the light novel's coming to an end, FYI, for those that are unaware, like, the light novel is literally, like, in its final stages of its story, and it'll be over, and it's just wild, because I've been reading Overlord for a very long time, an extremely long time at this point, and keeping up with its content, and to see that it's going to be ending soon is pretty sad. It's legitimately a sad circumstance, but all good things must eventually come to an end. But, uh, I don't know, I just don't want to talk about it. Like, I don't know, I, I the series is a flawed gem. It's extremely flawed, because of the, the way the anime is done, but... Even then, it is just so good. It is such a good series. Like, anytime I think of, like, fantasy stories, like, truly just, like, some of my favorite fantasy stories, like, if I'm just, uh, you know, go here and I look for fantasy within Crunchyroll and all that, Overlord is something that just always, like, I love. I love Overlord to death. It is always something that sticks out to me over all these other series and stuff. I always go back to it and think about it. I, I hold it in very high regard. And I'm just, I'm happy to see it's not, like, a, an unpopular show. Despite, like I said, it's many, many flaws. Hell, I just, I wanted to make an Overlord video. Forgive me. I, I, I really wanted to talk about it because, I don't know, it's just, it's been on my mind recently. And I've been, uh, you know, kind of reading the latest stuff of the novel that came out. And it just, uh, yeah, man, this series really, I think, is kind of what, like open the door up for how good fantasy stories really can be if it wants to. And, like, I, I hold it in a very similar tier up there in terms of just enjoyment value as ReZero and Mushoku Tensei because it's just, it's good. But I'll leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching. Be safe, stay healthy, chibi out.